The key research areas in our Center for Energy Geoscience are geophysics and geology. The center's funding sources are pretty evenly split between industry funding sources and government funding sources. We're attracting some of the very best uh, postgraduate students, uh, both from within Australia and internationally, and this is generating high quality research and the students when they graduate are in very high demand by industry, so they're, they're snapped up very quickly. So one of the strategic areas that we identified nearly a decade ago was uh, the field of computational geoscience. In the geophysics area, we focus on advanced 3D imaging of the Earth. We're focusing on imaging uh, the Earth's subsurface in very complex environments. My areas of research and teaching expertise focus around 3D seismic imaging in the Earth, both imaging the Earth uh, performing inversions to estimate physical properties in the Earth, and also time-lapse monitoring, uh, in particular trying to monitor any changes in the Earth that might be related to fluid flow, hydrocarbon recovery, injection and storage of CO2. What we're focused on are varieties of energy sources and resources in the subsurface of the Earth, and so we need geology, geophysics, computational science, and a wide variety of sciences focused on that research and teaching goals. Here we're looking at a reef. It's a very old reef system which formed probably about 20 million years ago. Seismic stratigraphy is a sub-discipline of sedimentary geology, if you want. So what we do is we do some classical geology, but using remote sensing images of the Earth. It's essentially a scan of the subsurface that we do. I'm doing some geological interpretation of geophysical data sets, so namely 2D and 3D seismic data that we use to interpret and to, to visualize the architecture of the rocks in the subsurface, including the sequence of deposition, the order of deposition, and the potential for hydrocarbon reserves within the rocks. So that's, of course, a revolution for us in geoscience, to be able to map these rocks at such high resolution over these ginormous distances. Now that comes with technology. We're talking with hundreds of terabytes of data, so we use very high performance computers and software to be able to process these data sets and to make a geological sense of them. Computational geoscientists seek to leverage advances in computer hardware and software infrastructure such as cloud-based high-performance computing to solve real-world large-scale geoscientific problems. High-performance computing is important in my line of research because of the scale of the seismic data that we have which is currently reaching the petabyte level. Addressing these computer challenges requires the use of high performance computing systems such as computer clusters that allow us to operate concurrently uh, in parallel across a large number of nodes in order to solve our scientific problems. My work at the centre has been very focused on pushing the boundaries of collecting real data in the field. That's both on the sensor side and also improving the way we deploy sensors. Um, this can have a very big impact on the success of a particular project and I think it has a very, very uh, exciting future. I find the centre is a really good mix of both applied research, which is very well oriented with uh, industry, especially local industry, and some of the more basic research that, uh, that you would think about on a more long-term perspective. Such a mix is a really good way to have both impact and relevance. So far the uh, experience over my first year here has been uh, quite positive. It's provided a number of great opportunities in terms of research collaboration. So there's a lot of folks doing some pretty high edge, cutting edge research here, as well as it's afforded me the freedom to kind of pursue my own research avenues and expand collaborations beyond the center itself. During my time here, I've learned how to give presentations and explain difficult concepts a lot better to different people because our research group has a strong focus on teaching us how to explain things to people who come from different backgrounds. It has really great resources and a great breadth of, of diversity amongst the staff and the students, so uh, there's always someone around that knows the field, so despite being small, um, it's complete. This has been one of the real success stories that uh, the Geoscience Foundation has had the fortune to be a group that has world-class uh, research and teaching capability. We collaborate and it enriches both our research and also is a great opportunity for our students and postdocs to get involved with exciting research projects all across the world. Mm -hmm.